Okay, so let's get right into this. I'm just going to show y'all how I parted the hair. Um, yeah, I think it was like um, 14 in the back or 16 in the back and 12 in the front. It honestly depends on what you want. But yeah. So you will need some rubber bands, a crochet needle, some jam, whatever jam of your choice, but I use the Style Factor and the Shining Jam. You will need a comb, obviously. Some, uh, dang, oh my god. Yeah, those stuff. Oh, and that's a little concoction of, um, oils. The castor oil and coconut oil, because my hair likes it. But, um, this is the hair that I use. Nothing special. I don't typically use this hair. You can use whatever hair you prefer. So now I'm going to go in with the gel. This is the style style factor edge gel and you're just gonna go all around the perimeter of the parts and make sure you leave some little baby hairs out too because you don't want to be ripping out your edges when you're trying to do your baby hair but um yeah so you're just gonna run put the rubber band around the hair probably like four times don't do it too tight because then the needle won't go through the hair and um by the way, I deep, deep conditioned my hair and I put some curly cream in my hair to keep it moisturized before. So um, it's not all dry when I'm combing it out. And then I added the mixture of the oils to the towards the end of my um, twist so it can be nice and moisturized. <laughs> sectioning off the hair um, I probably took like an inch and a half of hair an inch I don't even I, I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> and then you're gonna get the crochet needle and put it through um, your hair and you're gonna do that with the hook open not closed by the way but um yeah I'm just twisting it so I can get the hair in the needle and then I'm gonna loop it through and by the way try not to get frustrated because you might not get it the first time I had to do like three times before I successfully got the hair through and um, that's why I said not to put the rubber band on too tight because you might because you're gonna need enough space to get the crochet hook and the hair piece through so just be mindful of that <laughs> actually going to start twisting so you want to take the left piece of hair and wrap it well and twist it over the right strand and you want to twist while you're twisting does that make sense I'm gonna just let y'all watch it cuz I don't want y'all to get confused but um yeah just make sure you have your actual twist hidden with the um with the added hair um, and now I'm just showing you that when you get towards the ends, if it's uneven, you just take a section from the thicker part and blend it in with the other side and just keep on twisting. Now, when you get to the ends, you're going to want to, um, knot it. And I feel like you don't really have to see that to know how to do that. But yeah, you just knot the ends and then I end up cutting off the little excess hair that's just strangling <laughs> on the ends. But um, yeah. On this clip I'm just showing you an alternative um, method for the twist um, I honestly wouldn't really recommend this method if you have 
your hair your actual hair already pre-twisted it would work better if it's untwisted so it can better blend in with the twist um because we are we're not crocheting the hair so it's going to be a little bit difficult to um mask it i guess but um yeah typically i usually use this method but my actual hair is just out it's, it's not twisted and it works fine but i prefer the rubber band method because it keeps your actual hair tighter and it lasts longer So I'm back and my hair is done. It's actually been like a week. Um, it looked fresher and neater when I first, you know, of course the day after I got finished. Okay, so I started on a Sunday and finished within like five hours. Yeah, so let me just take it out the bun so y'all can see. They actually don't look that bad bad honestly but my hair already like started growing um which is kind of crazy <laughs> but because it's only been a week so but um yeah let me just do a little 360 so y'all can see and like i don't know y'all can see i don't know what i'm even doing right now <laughs> but yeah And with this, I will say that with this hair, um, I could have picked different texture hair because usually when I do twists, I use, I don't use this texture. I use more of a, um, let's say khaki, of a kinky, um, texture, like, um, Cuban twist or something like that. But for whatever reason, the beauty supply store didn't really have that texture and the length that I wanted because I like my hair be like to my butt past my butt <laughs> but um yeah with these they came like right here or right here i don't remember but i ended up adding hair to the ends to make it a little bit longer because i did not like the length like i don't like when it just is like at my waist or something like that like i don't to me <laughs> It's not flattering to me. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I didn't tip the ends. I just put them in knots and everything. Um, you can't really tell, so that's that. And actually, let me stand up so y'all can see. Hold on. So this is how long they are. Remember, I had to add hair towards the end, so this is how long it is. But typically, I think it came like right here. I think that's where it came when I did <laughs> not like that so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um just let me know which method worked out for you because I did show you guys two methods but I did do the rubber band method throughout the whole head so um yeah I hope you enjoyed this little hair tutorial if you try this out just let me know in the comments below and um yeah be be on the lookout for my next video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um yeah like comment subscribe share you know do all that good stuff and i will see you in my next upload bye oh my god i don't mind my nails <laughs> bye